<laughs> Good morning. Morning. So we're here with uh, the most <laughs> static, worst introduction in the history of the world. Good morning at home. Howdy. So we've decided uh, we're going out with Charlie McAuliffe. McAuliffe? Morning. Yeah. McAuliffe? McAuliffe or McAuliffe? 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 Depends where you've been brought up. Oh, okay. If you're in Packenham, it's McAuliffe. If yeah. you're in Mornings, then it's McAuliffe. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I've got to say, Shay's not looking too good this morning, is she? She's looking a bit average, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. So we're heading out in the ocean today, and what are we targeting, gentlemen? Just a lucky dip. Anything, bottom wow. bouncing, any, anything can happen. You know, you never know. Variety of species. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's our first trip out with Charlie. Uh, Savage Seas. We've heard fantastic things about it. I think it's time we get out and uh, have a look for ourselves. Do this. Alrighty. Hey Chris. One thing I will say about Port Phillip Bay, you can see the bottom of the water, it's crystal clear, it's magnificent. It doesn't happen very often in Western, it doesn't happen at all in Western Port. It does. When? At San Remo. Yeah. That's at the entrance. That's <laughs> Western Port-ish. No, that's Western Port. I'd say Charlie's taken us out to his squid spot. And guess who's never caught a squid and is on a fishing show? Guilty, Your Honour. Unreal. Guilty. Do it's, it's you believe really... that, Charlie? I find that hard to believe. Yeah, yeah, I believe know. it, mate. Never caught a squid. Oh, no. Port Phillip Bay. No, that Port Phillip Bay, that's clear and beautiful. Yeah, I know. Should that's be able to will change. Yeah. Change I haven't, I've just never caught the squid bug that everyone seems to have. All right, guys, we're a little bit deep. 6.3. It's just two metres, it's too deep, so we want to get that two to four metres so we can move. Yep. Now Mick just got a bit of a wind knot, so oh. <coughs> you might not want some sound because there's a few expletives flying around. Ah, oh, nice. What have we got here? He's got his first squid. I bet, uh, Charlie, do you want to give it a bad handle grip? I don't think Chris will know how to grab it. His head up. His handle is hooked on the hook, I think. Oh no, he's just on. Just keep him in the water there, Chris. There you go. You're lucky. Did the job. And, uh, there's our first squid for the day. It's not just the first squid for the day, it's the first squid for my life. I've never caught one before. And he's done it on Savage Seas. What a great feeling. And it's twice exactly as big right. as my one. He's going to eat your one, Mick. <laughs> That's it. Thanks to Charlie. He's uh, 
got me my first ever squid. We're going to keep these live to take offshore, Mick. Yep. Drop them down and you, mate, you'd be very, very stiff if you don't get a gummy. Wow, they love them, do they? Easy to my ears, Charlie. So, there's never any guarantees in fishing, as you know. Yep. But the tide we've got, the condition we've got, the bait we've got, everything. And the captain we've got. We have all the faith in the world no, in you. No, no, it's a no, big no, call, man. No, no, we'll try our best. So. We've got, well, we've got the freshest bait you can get, but we've always, always got the backup gotcha bait ready to go, and we've got plenty of it tonight. And um, Burley, whew, okay. enough Burley to sink a ship, so to speak. You shouldn't be saying that on the boat, you know. Training on uh, Savage Seas Adventures. Chris needs all the training he can get. And I'll tell you what, he's in, in some pretty good hands with Charlie over there. Okay, cool. Just a matter of whacking it. Give it a good old whack. The squid seem to like it when the squid actually, the jig goes down like a prawn. Okay. Uh, most hookups we get is when the actual prawn's going down. Okay, cool. Thank you, Charlie. Nice and tight. Chris flicking them out there, I'm flicking here and we've left, just, we call it a, a dead bait or a hang bait over the side of the water. He's just sitting there hovering away so if any squid do see our lures come up to the back of the boat, they'll nail that. Oh, Chris is on. Now see where I grabbed it there? Yep. When you grab a squid there it won't screw you. Okay. What happens is as soon as, as soon as they feel anything touch them is when they shoot the ink out. Okay. So if you grab them really tight there, okay. normally they don't squirt you. That's okay. the rule. Just spend two and a half grand on a driver, golf driver. So what does he get? Does he is he like a overextended caddy that drives him around? That sort of drive? <laughs> See why I do the funny I'm on. stuff? I'm on. Little guy. Yeah, that's it. So we just got that uh, through squid. <laughs> Pretty much bang, bang, bang. We know where they are now. Um, we've gone past it. I know where they are. They're in the live well. <laughs> They're in the live well. He, their mates. Still in the water, we're going to go back on that line. I've, I've marked it with the GPS so I know exactly where to go, and hopefully, I'll get these guys hooked up again. Let's do it. It's amazing you hear all these rules in fishing, you know. Oh, no. Everyone says, Oh, they won't do this, I won't do that, but they do. If the, moon, if the moon's angled to the right and the barometer's angled to the left, your shoelace is untied, and you've only got one Sean, you're guaranteed to catch a massive fish. Exactly right. It's as simple as that. Get in the water. Get in the water. So we've just come out through the heads. Um, that was actually a pretty good crossing. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah. It's not. It's not always like that, guys. As you know, it can be yeah, pretty wild pretty coast. Uh, but yeah, we, we managed to, to get a good tide and yep. uh, why not make the most of it? And we've got Port Longstar behind us. Yeah, I used to um, I used to fish off that when I was a young fella, balloon off for sharks. It was great. Do you ever get any? No. <laughs> Is that when the donut career began? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it started in Port Phillip Bay and it hasn't stopped. Ooh, but we've just, we've just, we're leaving Port Phillip Bay, mate, so we might actually catch some oh, fish. Oh, no, no. Have, a, have a look at clear the water is, mate. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're going to head down towards the bluff down there uh, yep. and uh, drop our anchor and yep. anchor up and drop some baits and see what happens. Let's do it. Let's get Dyson nice these up. Yeah, no, we'll be fishing too deep. There's a few snapper in the bay. Don't know what's going to be in the water, what's down on these reefs. So it's just a simple pattern. I used to rig for today. Yep. Yeah, we're just putting these little globe beads on there for extra attraction. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. simple. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
KS size 4 0 hook. And it's just simple cubes, just to feel the waters and see what's down there. Be wrasse, be big flatties, be pinkies. Be nothing at all. So, hey, Charlie, so we're out here on Savage Seas. Uh, we're having a bit of a fish. Now, can you tell me where it all be began for you, mate? Oh, we're a bit fishing and, and diving. Actually, I was yep. a free diver many, many years ago in competition spearfishing, uh, the Bulldog okay. Spearfishing Club, and that, that taught me a lot about the ocean and yep. how things live, etc. And then good old Rex Hunt, of course, I saw him on ta television oh, and, and decided to try fishing with my father. Yep. And uh, yeah, now I'm running a charter business off the Mornington Peninsula in, wow. in a surveyed boat, so it's it's fantastic. So you went and got your coxswains, you did the whole yep. lot? Yep, got fantastic. the coxswains and put Savage Seas in survey. Yep. Um, um, it took probably, what, seven months to put the boat in survey yeah. and a couple of years to get your cocks in. But it's pretty spent. tough. Yeah, look, it is tough. Yeah. So Australia certainly is good when it comes to safety. Oh, fantastic. Well, we've been really impressed with the safety, the standards, the quality of the boat and the yeah. charter. All these golden nuggets. There's all sorts of stuff in that. Um, I think you've got a good fish there, Chris. <laughs> he came up for a bit and then he's woken up. Holy crap, what have we got going on here? Oh no, no, the seal got Oh no, that's a little worse. Oh. The seal grabbed him. So I think the seal grabbed him. He's in shock. So. They're actually quite good as sushi. Oh wow! You skin them, yeah. and if you we'll have a look at the meat now. We'll take the skin off. Yeah. Sushi with um, wasabi. Yep. But yeah, the, the seal did get it. Look at the tail. Yeah, I thought so. In shock, but there's it's thousands like and thousands and thousands of these things down here, and this is why we're here because there's things that eat these that have got big teeth. Yep. And that's where we want to catch. Fantastic. Mick's getting all excited. I am, mate. He is. Look at him. He's foaming <laughs> at the mouth. 11.30. You've got about an hour, hour and a half to go. That's the guy we're going to be careful of. The seal grabbed that one on the way up. I thought I had a big fish because it went for a run, but the seal just grabbed it and ran with it. He's hanging around, so it's the challenge we're going to have. To uh, one of Uncle Charlie's rigs, a little Paternoster set up. And he said, Nah, you gotta change it, you want a really, really long leader. So that's what I've done. Second we put it down, bang, got a hit. So we basically bring it up from the back, straight out. As you can see, he's still alive. Pop him on the head and around the eyes. There we go. That really needs to be in the middle, but I've sort of stuffed it a bit. But what we'll do to correct it is we're going to use a tie cable. Fortunately, we've got this seal here at the moment. I don't know if you can catch that on film. Mm -hmm. Gotta be really quick. Now, can you see if he's over your side, Chris? Play with him a little bit. Give him yeah, some something. Right yeah, go, go, go. Open the bowl. Yep, go. And that's what you gotta do with the seal. You gotta act as a team. Keep him occupied on the other yep. side. He's going down for it, I think. Or oh, what's he doing? Are you down? So I'll just flash around the water here. Once we're down, we're right. Just hit bottom. Is he hit bottom? I'm in, I'm on the bottom. Okay. 40 meters down.
it's really, really important to look at the people that have really done it, seek their advice, because they'll give you the tips that you actually need. We, uh, we aren't all hot shots and we aren't all experts, and that one's been hooked. Right. Yeah, I went there, Mick. Yep. Come on, gumbos. Starting to buckle over. Everything can not be sharp on the end of this the way I don't think you need to feel my dog is excited, that guy is very excited. Come on, scream, scream. But anyway, look, it's all good. Um, it's been a lousy week. Weather. It's good still there. No, it's not. Have a look at that. I just had a massive hit and here's annihilated that squid. Look at that. Look at that, Charlie. Yeah, that. That's no, you'd think. Oh, that's toothy. You'd think, you think. That's summer too. Gummy or something like that. Gummy or school if you can sure. scoop that up now for, for both the whining or smaller fish, but we're going to put out another one. It's still on. Get another. Come on. Work hard. Come, come on. Come on. <laughs> Big baits in these areas because big baits, big fish. You still catch big, big fish on small baits, but big baits work better for me uh, in these areas. So we're going to put a whole trevally on Chris's line now. I'll All keep right. this used bit of trevally here as a diversion when we need to get a bait down for old mate. All right, so we'll grab a full trevally. Got it. Look, the seal's got it. Yeah. I can't do anything. Or if it's if seal hasn't got it, something's uh, he's bitten in half. I oh, know it's a cooter. It is. It is. And he did get it. Yeah. Pretty. Can you see there where the seal's got it? It's nature. That's just the way it works. You didn't want to let it go. waiting for. I've lost fish after fish today. I don't know how many I can say I've lost. Bite off, dropped, seal come along and knocked it off. <laughs> Game with you boy. Yes. Oh, he has got some weight behind him. Ooh. Check out those. <laughs> Easy boy. Oh, I can't stop him. <laughs> Pull up anchor. <laughs> oh, basically. Whoa! You sure this is a seven gill? Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. I don't want that braid touching the bottom of the boat. Go right. He's going directly under center. Might have to reverse back. He's right under. I don't know if he's swimming back at me fast. Oh, or he's gone. <laughs> no, he's gone. Yep, yeah, he's gone. Oh no. He's gone. He's gone. 
<laughs> oh, well, you get that on big jobs. <laughs> I had no chance. No, he just I had went no the chance. Way, yeah. he wow. He looked that was huge. <laughs> that was huge. That did not stop running. No, it's not. He's wanting. Oh, oh yeah, that's going. Forward. Yep. Wait, wait. Let him take it. Still it pulls line, mate. Yeah, it's swimming towards me, I think. Short ones, mate. Number of fish. Let him run. Let him run. It's a funny fight, like he gives me a bit and then he pulls back. Put the fit ass and go for another run. Dale, you're bang on mate, just let it slowly sink down with that tide. Yeah, it's all about timing, isn't you're it? You're bang on, it's all about timing. There's no point sitting out That's here. That's the third time you've been like that today. It's it's just sit, you don't have to sit out here for eight, nine hours waiting for fish. You know when you're going to beat, that's when you're fishing. Now I've got to the point, I'm literally getting inches. First stroke. As we're getting closer to the boat, I'm getting nothing. I'm just, just pulling so slowly and so gently, but when he wants to turn, when he puts his weight in, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, I'm pulling him straight up now. Yep. Not getting much. He's probably getting more than I'm getting at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This is awesome. So how long have I been battling this girl now? About 10 minutes. So you hear these battles? There it is. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah. He's a monster. <laughs> Check him out. That is fantastic. Have a look at that, Chris. Oh. <laughs> I actually can't. I've just got the trace. Straight the corner. How beautiful is this? This is what fishing is about. You're a beautiful big girl there. Eh? Now, how are we going to unhook her? Do you reckon we could, Charlie? Actually, we will I'll grab the tail. What we'll do? Pretty heavy. Oh, yeah, she's heavy, mate. That's funny. Oh, hang on, let's the bridge. No, no, it's a fin, mate. Just put her in there, leave her in there. We'll let her go from the top of the boat. Okay. Just drop it, drop it. Just watch it. Now. Congratulations, we mate. We did it, mate. We did it. How's that? <laughs> Great work. How good is that? Mate, fantastic. Wow. Ah, wow. It was a good day. We lost so, a lot of good fish, but that's all part of it. I lost a lot of, a lot of good fish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got a big one. My hands are still shaking. Probably 130 kilos you would get yeah, out. Yeah, it was that. very, very heavy. Fish. That. that was a big, uh, big seven geller. But uh, you lost some too, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had some, some good runs. runs. It was a bit of fun, but uh, just yeah, a bit it was of the luck of the draw. Just yeah. see what was out there, though. Like run after run, some we didn't even get on camera. This guy, how many times during the day did he say, "Get this bait, and put it this, here, and then bang, bang. Yeah, straight away"? <laughs> like, Great run on it really is a good feeling. Absolutely. Well, that concludes our season two, doesn't it? Yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed season two. Yeah. Now, any information on tonight's show about Charlie, about Port Phillip Bay, go to our website, www.ozfishtv.com, and you'll see all the links there. See you soon. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next season. See them on the water and on the piers. See you next time. See ya. <laughs>